What is AFRAM? The African American Heritage Festival, what is it like? And if you're in the area around this time, why should you visit? Follow us as we explore AFRAM and all it has to offer over the span of two free days in Baltimore, Maryland, celebrating the culture, art, history, and the beauty of the African American experience. See more here on Tay and Wally. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Wally. And we're Tan Wally. Welcome back to the channel. Yeah. We're not reacting to anything right now, today. No, we're no reacting <laughs> to today. Um, I know you're usually used to this kind of set for that kind of thing, but prior to us doing reaction videos, we also did some travel mm -hmm. videos. Uh, we also want to get back to doing more so like outdoor activities, yeah. travel. This is going to be a mixture. This channel more or less is going to be a mixture of that. Mm -hmm. Especially um, for now. Exactly. It's going to yeah. be kind of like a hybrid of movie reviews, trailer reactions, yeah. travel, things of that nature. Just mm -hmm. things that kind of coincide with who we are as people. Things that are Tan, tan Wally. <laughs> so we appreciate y'all for being here. Thank you for coming along on this journey with us. Last week we went to AFRAM. Mm -hmm. Now AFRAM, if you're unaware, is the uh, African American Heritage Festival mm -hmm. in Baltimore, Maryland. Mm -hmm. For the past couple of years it's been taking place in Druid Hill Park, mm -hmm. uh, beautiful area. Huge park, like humongous. <laughs> Very much so. Um, I believe they called for roughly 100,000 people to visit Druid Hill for AFRAM, uh, 80,000 of which came roughly on Saturday. It's a two-day um, festival, by the way. Mm -hmm. Weekend two-day weekend mm -hmm. festival. Everybody's invited. Um, it's open to the public. The general public is free. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things that they have there. Things like, I mean, obviously you have the the food mm -hmm. that you normally find at like, you know, outdoor festivals, state fairs, yeah. carnivals, things like that. You got your, you know, your steak and cheese or cheese steaks, uh, fries, what is it yeah. um, that you love? It's uh, the... Funnel cake? Funnel cake. Yeah. Funnel cake's another yeah. one. Fried fish. They also had some vegetarian options there. Mm -hmm. Some um, Haitian food, Jamaican food. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think what else we saw. There was a ton of food, like so much food. And all the lines were ridiculously long. Mm -hmm. And one of the things you had to keep, so for those that aren't familiar, for those of you that don't live in the uh, Baltimore, the Maryland area, or you've never been to an AFRAM before, uh, AFRAM is kind of the, the celebration of African-American culture, African-American people, mm -hmm. our customs and traditions, some of the custom traditions uh, ranging from tribal dances. Yeah, African arts, drumming. Drumming, clothing, mm -hmm. and like we mentioned before, food, some of it's soul food, some of it's mm -hmm. um, African food. Or the diaspora, like I said, Jamaican and Haitian food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then this year it was on Juneteenth, which was like, even more of a celebration mm -hmm. and Father's Day. So it was like a, a three kind of three thing celebration. Mm -hmm. Black Dads, mm -hmm. Juneteenth, and then African American mm -hmm. heritage. Yeah. We went both days, Saturday mm -hmm. and Sunday. So Saturday we went, uh, Neo, the artist Neo was the the headliner for yeah. that day. To anyone here that does not know my name is Neo and it's a pleasure to meet you. And to those of you that do know, my name is Neil, and it's a pleasure to meet you as well. Y'all been coming to listen to me talk, so I ain't gonna do a whole lot of it. This show is about the music, celebrating the music, celebrating Juneteenth, being black and beautiful and happy. So we gonna do that. Are we ready to get down? Are we ready to get down? Let's go. So excited to see Neo. <laughs> it's good to see you still getting work. Yeah, I was so excited. Yeah, it's good to see you still getting work. I mean, I remember obviously back for several years, like what, 2000. Well, like when he first came. Oh yeah, like. Like early. Neo, Neo, Neo. like yeah. so sick. Yeah. Oh my uh, gosh. What was the, a couple other songs? It was like so sick. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so Neo 
Leo came on Saturday and performed for the live audience. Mm -hmm. It was fantastic. It was awesome. Y'all, Elder Barge was there. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Elder Barge was there. He still got it. You'll, you'll see the clips. He still got it. And then the OJs came on, but we left before we got to see the OJs. Yeah, unfortunately. It was a long day. It was, but also because, unfortunately, well, one, I had to work the day after. Mm -hmm. Two, I had to visit my father in order to say Happy Father's, Father's day, day. Day, yeah. Which, again, Pops, if you're watching, Happy Father's Day. Mm -hmm. Love you. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> <laughs> While we were going down, on Sunday, we passed a gentleman who yeah. had his art on, he had his artwork on display. Yeah. Now, I'll let him tell you his story mm -hmm. so that you can take a listen to it. It's beautiful. Yeah, and if you have, uh, if you feel so inclined or try to support this brother's work, um, he does apparently live in Drew Hill Park, so I'll go ahead and let the clip speak for itself and let him tell you exactly uh, who he is and what it is that he does. I'm Colin. Your name Colin? Colin. Colin. Yeah, C-O-L-I-N. C-O-L-I-N? Yeah. Okay. I did not go to art school, um, except for, you know, like the classic we're taking high school or middle school or whatever. About two years ago, I decided that I couldn't, you know, I couldn't ignore the way that I was feeling about being sad and depressed about the world and, you know, at the end of coming home every day from work, you know, there's the car and there's the house and the cable and all this kind of stuff, but there's nothing that I feel like, you know, I was able to contribute. You know, and that's the question is, is always asking, you know, if you die today, would you feel good about whatever? And so, you know, I quit my job and then two months later, I remembered that when I was a kid, I loved to paint. And so I started painting and coloring everything. And I colored my kitchen cabinets and some other things in my landlord's house. And then he kicked me and my family out. And it was probably the best thing ever because, you know, two months after I was kicked out, I found myself here. Um, so I needed somewhere to live and I needed somewhere to feel safe and comfortable. I needed somewhere to be able to have the space. And I had just hoped and prayed that it would all work out and it absolutely positively has but i'm so grateful to the city to the park and to the people and mostly to god for giving me the opportunity um, to discover all that i've been able to discover and to be able to just live and love life and love people and it's been awesome and i'm so thankful so that was the that was the gentleman who uh, showed us his artwork at drood hill and he's had such a interesting and fascinating story very humble very humble very humble oh gentleman uh seemed like a, he seemed like a good he seemed yeah. like a good dude his artwork was really uh really awesome in the process of walking you'll obviously pass by Certain booths, um, certain oh, yeah, vendors. You, you'll pass by. <laughs> you'll pass by vendors selling different things like shea butter. Mm -hmm. You'll have the fire department as well as the police department down there. Mm -hmm. You had the Marines were there. The Marines recruiting, and you had this like shaky bar where they would have people trying to do <laughs> uh, pull-ups. It was um, so sus. It was so sus. And on top of that, of course, when you're walking down there for. Anything, well, of course, for anything like African American related, of course, you're gonna come across the uh, the Israelites. The Israelites. Of course, um, mm -hmm. the roll that uh, beautiful baby footage. <laughs> Book of Second Ezra, chapter one, verse seven. Right now, I'm not I even he that brought them out of the land of Egypt. Right, right, so the Lord is he that brought the Israelites out of the land of Egypt. You know. From the house of bondage. From the what? From, from the, the house, house of bondage. From, where? from, from the, the house, house of bondage. bondage. You know, I mean, you know, yeah. they're not hurting anybody. No. So, you know, it is what it is. So, quick little brief history of Afram. Afram originally, I believe, started in like 1970. Mm -hmm. uh, Afram itself was at the time known as the Soul Festival. Around 1993, that's when Afram moved from Hopkins Plaza to. Camden. Camden Yards, like Camden Yards, like around that stadium in the parking lot mm -hmm. area. Camden Yards was a nice venue. It was. I really enjoyed Camden Yards. It friend. was. At least the parking was better. <laughs> <laughs> at least the parking was better. I think it's been at Trude Hill, and I could be wrong. Please let me know if I'm like being incorrect. 
but when I think it's been at Drew Hill now for the past three or four years, not including mm -hmm. 2020 mm -hmm. and summer 2021. Again, it's open to the public. It's open for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, so if you get an opportunity to come, we highly encourage you. Absolutely. Sure. Hi. Well, thank you for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoy our little tour. And, uh, yeah. And also keep in mind, like I mentioned before, when we get an opportunity in order to do things like travel, outdoor festivals, mm -hmm. things like that, we will be obviously including that on the channel because that is, I mean, that's how we got, you know, that's why we started. That's yeah. why we started in the first place. So we also, I mean, obviously keep in mind, we will see you still be doing reaction videos. For sure. And things of that nature. But it'll be a good mix between the two. Yeah. So, I mean, I feel like this way you get more of our personality. You be stepping into our lives. Like, yeah. truly. I mean, essentially. Truly. I'm, I, mean, I mean, obviously, when I first started, I was not really good, you know, behind the camera. Oh, no, you weren't. Uh, I was a really <laughs> not. I was really not. I was you sure you want to talk? Hmm? You sure you want to do the I'm talking? I, I need to get better at it anyway. <laughs> and Puerto Vallarta is going to be... I don't know, I'm saying it Puerto Vallarta. <laughs> oh, God. Puerto. It's okay. Let's say, it, say it again. Puerto Vallarta. One more time. Puerto Vallarta. One more time. Nah, I can't. I you can't. sound dry. Ouch. <laughs> no, because I know for a fact that as soon as I, like, I do, you're going to be like, damn, she was right. <laughs> <laughs> Action! <laughs> That's, uh, That's growth, guys. Growth. <laughs> That's what that is. But I'm getting better. Yeah. Um, I feel like I'm feeling more I'm comfortable. I'm proud of you. Yeah, thank I'm you. Very proud I feel of like you. I'm getting more comfortable in front of the camera. I you feel are. like. Again, we're kind of letting you into our personal lives, yeah. and we're you know we're more than happy in order to have you guys here because you guys are actually really awesome. You like all the positive comments that you guys have been leaving, yes. all the likes on the videos that you've been leaving, all the views that you've been giving. Yes. You guys are amazing. Yeah. And if you have any suggestions, uh, suggestions <laughs> for places, um, even like we do road trips too. Mm -hmm. We're super down for road trips, Absolutely. and we go camping. We do all sorts of things. So like literally, drop any recommendations. We're on the we East Coast, so preferably on the East Coast, but drop whatever ideas you have in the in the comments below so, so we'll look into it yeah, so thank you again for being here with us thank you for another journey we appreciate you having you yeah. here and give us a thumbs up if you like this video and again if you didn't like it just you didn't see it no harm no foul and be sure to drop any comments below and yes we'll see you in our next video thank you guys for being here we appreciate you as mm -hmm. always and until the next time be safe and be well peace